All right, music fans, uh, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and more controversy with Journey and uh, doing it in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. Um, we're going to be talking about this album, uh, at least part of the video will be about uh, Journey Through Time, which I've told everyone to go and purchase. Uh, Greg Raleigh is apparently not happy and there are a couple of things that are going on here that are almost a little difficult to follow so let's uh just welcome back into the world of journey controversy which i thought <laughs> i thought we were gonna have a a long break from greg raleigh says journey through time was improperly released um so the album itself was released back in may via frontiers records uh, and this is it right here folks audio and dvd um the show found sean and raleigh performing a set focused mainly on the band's earliest work that's not necessarily true um you know look i i would appreciate if people would get certain details right people get on me all the time and you know what i do i take videos down I take them down. If I say something and then later somebody approaches me and says, you know what, that wasn't correct. A lot of times I will just take the video down. The show did include earlier material and that was maybe the focus of it. But quite honestly, the band did everything, including Don't Stop Believing. Uh, they did stuff from Trial by Fire. So again, just a minor detail here. I guess it's really not that important uh, in the scheme of things when we're talking about what Greg Raleigh here is uh, claiming. So the show found Sean and Raleigh performing a set, and I won't continue with that, um, including drummer Dean Castronovo, former touring Journey bassist Marco Mendoza, and keyboardist John Varn. Raleigh now says he never signed off on a separate physical release. These explosive charges were leveled in an official letter involving another matter from attorney Gary Stifelman of GSS Law in Tarzana, California. Raleigh is also asking France's Guitar on Scene Festival, I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, to issue refunds after a Journey Through Time concert scheduled for tonight was abruptly canceled. Raleigh became alarmed when the festival's initial advertising made it seem as if Journey would perform rather than the offshoot band. The concert was properly listed on the group's website and bands in town, but the promotional material had Journey in a much larger font than through time. Mr. Raleigh is quite concerned over the deceptive marketing, misuse, and intentional misappropriation of his name and likeness, and misleading announcement and ticketing that purported to promote an exclusive journey appearance after 15 years of absence from the European market under the name Journey Through Time. Stifelman wrote this week in a letter to organizers of this concert. On or before June 12th, Stifelman added, Mr. Raleigh and his team had made it abundantly clear to Mr. Sean, Mrs. Sean, and all involved in the process that he would not participate in an event due to a number of concerns, including the risk of deceiving fans, not fairly paying other working musicians, and an improperly released album sharing the same title, Journey Through Time. Raleigh is worried that the original Journey Through Time benefit concert's nonprofit intent has been forgotten. Stifelman also said Sean was reportedly paid at least $100,000 for the canceled appearance in France while fans were stiffed. They are considering a selection of local council in France if refunds aren't offered. Man, this journey controversy, it never ends, and this does not look good. 
Mr. Raleigh remains concerned that Mr. Sean is furthering the promotion of a live album and DVD Neil Sean released via Frontiers Records without obtaining appropriate licenses or permissions of the performing artists and songwriters slash music publishing owners, Stifleman wrote, and without remuneration to the artists or the intended beneficiary, a California Wildfire Victims Relief Fund, or the recorded 2018 event. Unlike Sean and Jonathan Cain, Raleigh retains control of his publishing. That's interesting. He'd have to sign off on issuing covers of original co-written songs like Feeling That Way Anytime, Of a Lifetime, and Just the Same Way, all of which appear on Journey Through Time. <laughs> wow. This is, this is bad. As the last of the remaining songwriters and original band members to not have sold off their rights, Raleigh continues to own his catalog and intends to protect those works, the legacy and brand of Journey or his name and likeness from being used to harm or divide others. The letter referenced the already acrimonious and fractured, fractured relationship among Journey's remaining principles while arguing that Journey has a duty to their fans and legacy to unite and not further the band's division with acts of individual greed. The Journey Through Time appearance was officially called off on June 23rd. Uh, Sean announced the cancellation on social media without explanation. Following reports that the festival had sold tickets as Journey and infringed on many of Mr. Raleigh's personal rights, and journeys upon review of a cease and <laughs> desist letter the festival agreed to remove mr raleigh from the marketing and apologize to him but continue to sell tickets to unsuspecting fans as journey stifleman wrote to the concert organizers ultimately we understand that the festival after paying mr sean at least a hundred thousand dollars canceled the promoted event Fans were asked via Instagram to hold the bag and support the festival by not seeking refunds and to still pay for, the, for all nights, even in the absence of a replacement headliner as marketed. Wow. They were instead redirected in a post to the link in bio, which does not indicate any form of refund. Sean was initially promoted as a member of a fill-in group called the GES All-Star Band, but is no longer mentioned on the festival's official website. The lineup, now slated to perform tonight, features several members or former members of Whitesnake, including Joel Hoekstra and Marco Mendoza. Wow. <laughs> so... Greg Raleigh is now a part of this. He's he's angry. Um, it just it just seems that it, I mean two things are at work here. Number one, Neil Sean tries to do something and maybe he doesn't think it through, and then he gets he gets either shut down or somebody, uh, you know, is upset and. You know, if everybody was on good terms, I don't think any of this stuff would be happening. Now, Sean is over on Twitter, and he's basically uh, saying that he canceled this event, which looks like a poster for Marco Mendoza, Dino Jalusic, Tommy Aldridge. They call it the All-Star Band. He says, this is what they took down. So... I don't know if this was the original marketing for it, but it doesn't look like Journey Through Time at all. The fact that you've got Neil and Marco on the picture, um, that might indicate that this could be Journey Through Time, but Greg isn't on this poster. Let me just blow this up a little bit here. Um, I should have done a screen share, but yeah, there there is no sign of Greg Raleigh on this. now. Uh, if there were prior uh, market, there was prior marketing done where Greg Raleigh's likeness was on it. Um, by the way, Dean Castronovo is not on this. Um, <clears throat> who else could have been on this? You had 
Um, John Varn was the original keyboardist. He's not on this. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. It's bizarre, but more controversy. And a lot of the controversy apparently surrounds, uh, you know, this album here. I mean, Greg, I would say this. If, if you were ticked off about this, this was announced a long time ago that they were going to do this. Um, and if Greg isn't getting his due on this, then he should be, especially if he owns the rights to it. And they probably are selling a few of these. What is interesting is that this album came out, I believe, as compensation for another problem that was going on with the release of Freedom. And um, that's probably the topic of another video, probably something I'm not sure I can even talk about. Um, so I'm not going to go down that road. So this, or let me let me explain it this way. This album came out to kind of settle a problem. And then now there's another problem because Greg is wanting his fair share. Um, Steve Perry, by the way, hasn't chimed in on this. And obviously all of Steve Perry's songwriting is on this. So it's pretty interesting that a concert, which was scheduled, and they're claiming, by the way, anytime this band goes out, there's going to be confusion between Journey and Journey Through Time. There's going to be confusion. The, the, the word Journey is in the title of the band. So for anybody who thinks that that wasn't done intentionally um, and as a way to kind of peel some of the fans off, and not confuse people, but to keep people engaged with um, the the brand. Because the journey is in there, right? Journey through time. I mean, somebody must have consulted a legal expert on this. Um, I don't know how well that's going to hold up, though. Because you can easily make the comparison and say, yeah, that's that's going to be a little bit hard to understand. Is it journey? Is it journey through time? Is there much difference? Um, they're performing all of the music of journey. I don't know if this will go over in court all that well. Uh, and I'm talking about how um, Neil is going to have to probably defend this somehow because it looks like Greg is really ticked off. And now <laughs> all the people that have been ticked off, John, Greg, Neil at John, Steve Perry. I mean, and classic rock, folks, what we have left of it, it, there's not much. And this album, you know, for geezer guys like me, this this was a little bit of hope. You know, it was guys having a good time jamming out for a good cause. And Greg Raleigh mentions this like, hey, this was a nonprofit. This was a benefit concert to raise money. I think he's concerned that, you know, you put this album out, you should be sending some dollars back to that original cause, which were um, people who were victims of a wildfire in California back in 2017, 2018. So uh, again, uh, as the journey turns, I never thought that this would happen. But then again, I knew when this launched, when Journey Through Time launched, I knew there were people that had a big problem with it within the organization. And I believe it was a catalyst for all of the legal stuff that transpired after that, even though it had, you know, nothing to do with some of those issues. I think people were seeing that Neil was trying to go off on his own and do his own thing. In Neil's defense, he thought they were trying to hijack the band from him, which I think there's evidence that that was taking place or people were thinking about it. Um, <laughs> I loved Journey Through Time. So this is a big problem. Um, and people are thinking, should I buy this album? Am I getting someone in trouble if I, I own a copy of it? So, uh-oh, you know, am I supposed to send this back? And uh, maybe... 
whoever's making money off of this. And from what I understand, it's just the record label. It's just the record label. And um, I can't go into detail as to why it's just the record label. Um, but they're the ones I think that Greg might want to focus on now because it's been handed off. Um, maybe Neil shouldn't have done this, but it's out of Neil's hands right now. And I'm not, you know, saying that Neil isn't to blame for doing what he did. And maybe a court is going to go back to Neil and say, Hey, you can't do this unless you get the permission of Greg and maybe Steve Perry and whoever else, the late George Tickner, his estate, because he, um, he co-wrote some songs that they played on this. So in any event, people, um, as the journey turns, holy crap, Batman, it's, it's more drama coming literally out of left field. Um, and Greg Raleigh, who's such a mellow, nice guy, it's just really bad that it's come to this. He doesn't look like the kind of guy at this stage in everybody's life that would go out there and try to stop something like this. But, um, it's his music. If he's not being compensated for it and he still owns it, then the bottom line is he needs to get something. And if he thinks this is deceptive marketing, you know, I don't see any deception in the poster that is over on Neil's Twitter. But if there was marketing prior to that, which made it sound like this was a journey concert and Greg Raleigh was going to be there, then obviously that's a huge problem. So Anyway, here's the album again. <laughs> Go check it out. Um, maybe purchase a copy before uh, they're all confiscated. Um, I may have a collector's item here, and you should get one too. Um, and who knows? Maybe if you buy it, some of this money might go to those wildfire victims eventually. Or Greg Raleigh might get his cut, but apparently all of that stuff is going to be decided in a court somewhere probably in California. Can't believe this. This is just crazy. All right. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. God bless you all. And I will see you soon.